I'm a huge proponent of the second brain system and for the longest time mine has been hosted in Notion, but last month I made the switch to ClickUp Here's why. The first reason why I switched from Notion to ClickUp is because Notion lacks an idea inbox. One of my biggest productivity tips is that as soon as you have an idea, get it out of your head and into your productivity system as fast as you can. This does two things. It frees up your bandwidth to continue thinking creatively and have new ideas, and two, gives you peace of mind knowing you've noted it down. And with Notion, I really needed to rely on too many systems. I had Notion where all of my ideas and notes were stored. I had Asana where all of my tasks and my team's tasks were stored, and I had text messages to myself where all of my thoughts, tasks, things that I wanted to note down later lived. And so my process looked like this. Anytime I had something that I wanted to note down, I would text it to myself. And then later, if I remembered, I would sit down at my desk and take my text message and then either put it into Notion or into Asana. And I'm sure that there's better ways to do this in Notion, but I always try to build systems that fit my existing behaviors. And what I really needed was the ability to quickly open up something blank, jot down an idea, and be able to reference it again later. So with ClickUp, all I need to do is click Create, Notepad, and then I can add my notes. And while this maybe doesn't seem that different from texting myself, the magic really starts when I sit down at my desk to then do something with all of those notes. Here we are in ClickUp. I wanted to show you how easy it is to take a note and put it into my productivity system. So let's go ahead and open the notepad. Here are some notes that I've created. Let's go ahead and go to start here. This is actually an idea for a video that I was scripting while we were driving somewhere. This I actually already filmed, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and convert this into a task. Because I'm in my second brain, it's going to automatically put it in the second brain, but I know that this needs to go in content planning and that it was a short form video. You can also set what this is, so it's a task. I'm gonna go ahead and create task. Then it asks what you want to do with the note. And because I already converted it into a task, I'm going to go ahead and delete. Here's the note I made for this video. We can do the same thing, except this one I would want in my second brain. We're pretending it's like an idea I had on the fly. And for my second brain, I bulk process things. So I just want it in second brain unprocessed. I'm gonna go ahead and create the task and delete the note. This is a task that I had for myself. You can see that I said set up Dripify on LinkedIn. I'm gonna go ahead and just convert it to a task. There was no additional context needed for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in growth directive and then in the growth directive requests, I can go ahead and then assign myself and assign a due date of next. Friday. You can also set priority if your team uses that. We don't particularly use that. And you can also change the status here. So just like that, we've processed three notes that I had on the fly into our productivity system. It literally takes just a few minutes when you are sitting down at your desk. Again, if there's nothing urgent on that list, I process about once a week and then I go into my second brain about once a quarter and process everything I have in this unprocessed folder. Easy as that. ClickUp makes it so simple for me to take ideas, notes, and tasks, and then catalog them either in my second brain, assign them to my team, or assign them to myself all within one productivity tool. At the end of the day, I need a productivity system that works for me and ClickUp just works. That brings us to the second reason why I switched from Notion to ClickUp and that is Notion confused my team. The beauty of Notion is that it's super customizable. You can add GIFs and little banners and widgets and I really liked that. It was essentially a journal I could customize. But as soon as I started bringing on team members, new contractors, and even new clients, I started to think, uh-oh, maybe Notion isn't going to be for us. Because Notion is so customizable, it ended up being really clunky for my team to use. But I was committed to making Notion work, so I threw up the white flag and I brought in professional help to clean up our Notion systems and create a system that would work not only for me, but for our team as well. In all, we spent about a month trying to get the system right, and I was so excited to roll it out to the team. But after we did, I realized that a lot of the same problems that the team was having earlier were still there, even though we had new processes, systems, dashboards, client portals, and the like. Things were clunky, and despite the best efforts of myself and the Notion consultant, things just still weren't right. And the third reason why I switched from Notion to ClickUp is that I really needed an all-in-one tool that our team could use. Because establishing Notion was such a charade for our team, I ended up moving our task management from Notion into Asana because Asana is very user-friendly and our team was very capable of working out of Asana. Throughout the entire charade of trying to get Notion to work, I established our team project management in Asana. And honestly, things were so much easier to run out of Asana than they were out of Notion. Because Asana is so easy to use, it was readily adopted by contractors, team members, even if they didn't have previous Asana experience. Not only this, but I could also 
easily manage the different projects we have and assign team permissions. We have our podcast, my personal brand, the growth directive. We also have a client hub and I loved that I was able to set permissions and give people access when they needed it. But what I found was missing in Asana was the ability to create documents, SOPs, and have everything searchable like I would like in a second brain system. Now, this isn't a tutorial video for ClickUp, but I wanted to show you two things that really sold me on ClickUp. One was the ability to create documents and the other was the ability to create forms. So let's go ahead and jump into a space where I actually have those. And that is in my podcast. One of the things we have set up for the podcast is a guest application. If somebody is interested in being featured as a guest on my podcast, they can go ahead and fill out this form. And then the responses are cataloged here in a list for our team to go ahead and be able to review the people who are interested. And that way we can vet people and ensure our audience is getting the highest quality guest episodes possible. The other thing that's really key for me is the ability to create documents. And one of the things that I love to use documents for, again, is with my podcast. And we can see here that when I'm prepping for an episode, I create all of the questions for the podcast ahead of time and then create a public view link to share with the guest. So this has my entire SOP, the questions I'm going to ask and my stay on the call. So your audio uploads and everything seamless. I'm able to then share this as a public link and anybody who views this then essentially sees a clean version of this document. One of the things that I really needed in a productivity software was this ability to create documents, but I love that ClickUp also solved another pain point I had and that was creating forms that seamlessly integrate with my existing productivity system. I loved that Asana was so easy to use, but I really found that it was missing the documents feature that I truly needed for it to be able to function as a second brain. And that's when I finally switched to ClickUp. ClickUp is amazing. And while it's not quite as user-friendly as Asana, I find that it's pretty quick for people to adopt even if they don't have previous experience working from a task management platform. Like I said, I was looking for a system where I could manage my podcast, clients, my consulting business, and my personal personal brand, all from one space, set permissions, create tasks, but also have a personal space for my second brain where I can put all of my notes to be able to refer to in the future. Here we are in ClickUp. I want to caveat this by saying we've only been in ClickUp for about a month and there's definitely so much more that we can do in here to clean things up and make it more efficient. I will be bringing on a ClickUp consultant to make sure that all of our systems and processes are up to date, but this is really how we've been able to get up and running really quickly in ClickUp and use it not only for our team management, but also for for the second brain system as well. The way that I organize everything is with spaces. I have my personal brand, I have client management, my consulting business, the growth directive, my second brain. And then of course we also manage family tasks out of here. Here we are in my second brain. I modeled this after a Notion second brain setup that I saw on YouTube. I will go ahead and link that video in the description if you are curious. But the way that it works is that I have an unprocessed column. And then when I go ahead and catalog the idea, I go ahead and move it into its appropriate swim lane. So let's go ahead and process this note here. This is a copy paste of a LinkedIn post that I wanted to keep track of, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in quotes and sources. The way I categorize things are ideas, quotes and sources, notes and courses, business studies, rules, business ideas, and musings. So this is a quote and sources. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Now we can go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and look at this threads posting schedules note that I had. And this is a screenshot of a thread that I liked where this person shared that they do two short form posts and one long form post on threads every day. So we're going to go ahead and put that in business studies. Moving back, here's an email subject line that I liked, discover your Zodiac wine pairing. And you can see how it's very simple to go from an unprocessed idea to a processed idea. This is something that I don't really need to do that often. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.